1776, the Declaration of Independence was signed. The United States of America was founded, and revolutionary ideas of unalienable rights and freedom burned in the hearts of our founders, igniting a fire that continues to light the world today. These words are part of an essay submitted to the Fleet Reserve Association. I wake up every day in a nation that shines with promise. Brandy Mitchell wrote the essay last fall as a 10th grader at Jefferson Forest High School. Hers was selected over several other local entries. I knew it was a good essay, and I've seen a lot of them. The theme, why I am proud to be an American. The limit was 500 words. For someone naturally gifted with words, Brandy had to rein herself in. I usually tend to be a bit wordy, so I had to uh, force myself within the limit. Her effort earned her a regional win as well. It's one of those things where you do it, but you never really feel like you're going to hear back from it. And, I mean, I knew someone won at some point, but I didn't ever think it would be me. From there, the essay advanced to the national level and took top honors. It was really surreal and just super exciting. I was just overjoyed. If you win at national, that's a very, very big achievement. Which comes with a big prize as well. Congratulations. We were at the National D-Day Memorial in Bedford when Joe Black from the Fleet Reserve Association Branch 41 presented Brandy with a check for $2,500. She's welcome to enter it next year and the year after, but honestly, she'll have a tough time topping this essay. <laughs> I am filled with pride for what we stand for, united as one people, believing in a great today and a better tomorrow. Brandy loves writing and wants to pursue yeah, a career in it. So for her, essay writing is fun, and she's certainly not shy when it comes to saying how much she loves America or displaying her patriotism. There's so much you can say about America, so I actually should thank my country for giving me such a good reason to write, you know, an essay, because there's so much you could talk about. Like, I mean, that's why 500 words is not enough to talk about how great of a country we live in. I'm proud to be an American, and I'm proud that my heart beats the same rhythm as my American brothers and sisters, a heart that beats for freedom.